it's uh, allowed AJ to have so much so much success you think as, as a rookie? He's just done a nice job uh, every week, uh, trying to trying to improve and and expanding his game. And he's the, for a rookie, he's he's got a great mindset, and they, uh, he's taking advantage of the opportunities. You guys, you guys got some explosive plays early in the game from AJ and from John. Was that sort of an emphasis of uh, with, with Derek sitting out? Let's get the ball into the hands of some of our guys who are, are good after the catch. Yeah, and whether Derek. And as this thing's grown, as the year's gone on, I mean, it's been uh, apparent that, you, you know, those guys have done a nice job with the ball in their hands. So, yeah, in any way we can. I mean, we're going to try to get yards however possible and whoever we can use. But both AJ and John have done a really nice job when they've gotten those opportunities. Back to AJ for a second. How have you seen him improve as far as releases, top of the route, and those type of things? Yeah, he's come a long, uh, come a long way. Uh, he, he stays after it. He works at it. You know, you see him working all the time, uh, individually, when, when even they're in special teams. So he's done a nice job. He just tried to improve every week. Is it a luxury to have Coach Moore, a guy who's been there and done that? Yeah, Rob's done him. a great job. Yeah, he has. And those guys bounce things off Rob, and he can share his experience, or, and they go to different, different, give a different perspective for sure. How much does Derek's presence off, just in the backfield create more respect for the play-action pass game, that sort of thing? Well, you know, D Derek's a unique player. but. Even last week, they, uh, Dion and Doc Credit, they, they, they ran hard, and we were still able to hit some play, play pass with them back there. So, yeah, to certainly Derek, people focus on Derek, and he, he, he's a unique player in his own right. But uh, we, we felt pretty good about where the play pass was last week as well. What do you think makes Derek so unique? Just different. I just you know, just haven't seen many guys that built like him and run like him. Last eight weeks, uh, they're 24. You, both teams have obviously played good offense. They're 24th in pass attempts per game. You're third. What's, what's that tell you about what successful offense can be in this league right now? Yeah, just trying to maintain. I mean, you, you know, you, you try to play to your strengths. And obviously with our roster and the way those guys are playing right now, we, we try to do a nice job of mixing it up, keeping, keeping things balanced and getting the ball in, in the guy's hands that can make plays with it. And so different ways to do that, you know. So. We didn't try to cheat the uh, stat sheet with like AJ's. We, you know, handed it off instead of trying to do the old uh, stat pattern. What you see people do on the jet sweeps now. So those guys are doing a good job. They've done a really good job up front and tight ends block well. The receivers have too. To to have not a lot of pass attempts and still get the pass production. Yes. It's almost like less is more for Ryan. Well, it's just been the way that the games have gone, and uh, Ryan's done a nice job. And we've had to go into two-minute situations and, and throw the ball. He did a nice job at the end of Kansas City. He did a nice job at the second half of Carolina. So he's done what we've asked him to do, and it's been nice. If you can maintain a balance, it certainly takes pressure off, you know, one just one person. In the last couple of weeks, we've seen the handoff to Sunu, the handoff to Arthur. We've seen Derek do what he's doing. Are you are you keeping alive Mike Malarkey's exotic Smash Mouth here? Is that? No, it's not. It's not. That's it, it. Just you just try to, you know, get creative and, and find ways to move the football and, and use the, the the strengths of the personnel we have. So we're still waiting. I'm gonna put them on in for Ben Jones too. Are, 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 <laughs> Jet sweep. Are, are those are those sorts of things? Are those are those things that have been in the playbook all year, or do you come up with new things? As it just kind of evolves as it goes, and you see where it takes you. Yeah, you're certainly looking for different ways, and and sometimes you put something in weeks ago, and it's just not the right time to call it, and and. I, Obviously, the Houston one with John, we felt like it was the right situation. So that's the stuff that, as, it, as the season goes, you're constantly trying to improve and tweak things and, and, and get ideas, and no matter where they come from. How much, how much do you think maybe John is taking the next step as far as from a confidence standpoint, and how much would that help a player who, who has emerged like he has? Yeah, it, it's, it's helped him a lot. He's grown a lot. He's done a nice job. Every year he's been here, from year one to two to three, and you got to – some of these guys, it depends what the offense they come in from from college and what position they were asked to play. And he, you know, he actually put his hand in the ground in college, where somebody like Delaney he was a wide receiver, and they he transformed when he was in San Fran when he got to the NFL. So they had different skill sets, and, and that's just a microcosm of some tight ends, depending on the offense they come from. No different if a guy comes from a very pro style, he's used to being in there. So I think there's a there's a lot to learn at that position because you're asking him to do so much, and he's done a really nice job from year to year, week to week, improving. I think there was a Ryan got hit a little bit more on Sunday than maybe had been in previous weeks. What do you attribute some of that to, and how much does that maybe need to improve moving forward? Yeah, certainly, uh, in, in every week you, you want to make sure the quarterback's not going to not going to take hits, 
Uh, and there's a combination of things. It's certain Sometimes, I, you know, you talk about, too, the, the, the routes are part of the pass protection. So if nobody's open, you're going to have to hold the ball or if something breaks down or you got a matchup you're trying to, to limit. There's a lot of factors that go into it. But, we, we, yeah, there's a, we got to do a good job every week to protect them.